revamping a t-shirt, you can either use a seam ripper and rip off the sleeves and then make it a tank, or you can just take this vegan leather off completely. When you finish peeling off all the vegan leather, um, you're going to be left with all this residue. So I suggest taking a toothbrush. If you have a coarse toothbrush, it's much better. But if not, if you're like me and buy soft toothbrushes because, you know, gums are healthy, gums are important and not bruised. Come back to my channel. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe, smash that subscribe button um, and hit that bell. Or is it? Yeah, just do that. Smash the subscribe button and hit the bell. So today we are gonna do a DIY. Um, why does it sound so weird when I say it? It sounds so cool when everybody else says it, but when I say it, it's just weird. Anyways, we're gonna do a DIY. Um, I'm going to repurpose some garments here. As you can, yeah, these are really big on me, but whatever, it's gonna do the job. So I have um, some bleach that I put into this little bottle that was like, had some room fragrance mist. Um, I am going to change the label to bleach. Right, let's just do that right now. Bleach. Bleach. So that someone doesn't come along and say, oh, room mister. Nope, it's not room mist anymore. It's bleach. Anyways, okay, so, oh my gosh, it's so strong. Okay, so we're going to repurpose. Um... So this shirt, um, yeah, the L is missing. Um, but I think I'm going to use different letters. I'm going to take these letters off because for some reason, I really think that it's not going to take the shape. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do something different with that. Um, so it was vegan, vegan leather. So I took the vegan leather off. So it has this cool little pattern there now. Um, and you'll see what I do with that. And this turtleneck, I'm going to repurpose this turtleneck. It's just like an old, boring black turtleneck that's been washed like a million and one times. So we're going to do something cool with that. Stay tuned. Oops! Gotta sit down for this. Grabbed a little, you know, this plastic thing from the, the top of the, the containers, you know, your refrigerator containers, whatever you want to call it, just to put underneath here so that it doesn't soak through to the other side. Um, so here's my worry, is that um, this isn't, you know, pressed on enough for it to make, like I don't want it to, to run. So this is just gonna be trial and error, guys, cause like I thought of doing this and I really didn't think it through like 100% how things are gonna stick or whatever the case is. So um, let's just go through it together. You see that? This is pure bleach. Well, <coughs> okay, well, kind of pure bleach because it does have that room stuff in it. Oh, do you see it changing already? I just, I keep on wanting, I want to press it down so that it'll take the, sh not the shape, but you know, the, You know what I mean? Come on guys, don't make me use words right now. We're in we're in quarantine world where we don't really wanna, you know. I've so here we are. Um I have used the um what do you call it? The dryer, the blow dryer. <laughs> Basically with the magic of filming. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, and if you guys are gonna wonder like why I'm actually holding it with my hand now, because this stupid thing 
this, yeah, broke off. So, slightly pissed. Slightly pissed. Take those out, and then there's one. Remember, I did one in the inside. Voila! Ooh, I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Do you see that? See that? All here. And the reason I know for a fact, the reason right here didn't take as much is because I didn't put enough pins in this area. So I made a little design. So there's that. Okay, so next we're gonna do this hat. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same pattern with the hat, but I'm going to, I think I, I want it up and down. So where should I put it this way? Yeah, I'll do it this way on the hat. So just gonna stick it on. So this time I'm putting a lot more pins in it. You can see more pins. And you just wanna, you know, like just get a cheap hat, a hat that you don't really care about wrecking or if it doesn't turn out right, you just don't care about it. Um, I'm also gonna get some spray paint and do some of these with spray paint as well too. So I'm gonna get creative with it. Y'all see what I'm thinking? What goes through this mind of mine? Shouldn't have been so lazy with the, the turtleneck. So you see all the pins there? And let's start spraying. So I'm gonna get the same thing, the same plastic thing, this thing, and just put it behind here, um, like that, just spray. Oh. And then get my gloves. Shouldn't really be leaving these laying around because there's bleach all over them. So all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna spray, spray, spray. So let's start, let's start right here. The cap, let's start right there. Okay, so I've finished spraying and I've like toppled everything over here. Back with this. Oh, the light. Give me the light. Yeah, yo. <laughs> this one's gonna take a little bit longer to set because um, the material is pretty coarse. Um, yeah, so the material is pretty coarse, and plus there's something else that I want to do with it. So we're going to leave this one. We're going to come back to this one. Yeah, that's what we'll say. Okay? So stay tuned. So as I said before, we're repurposing this shirt. Um, I took off the vegan leather, so you can see that. Took it off. Um, and it made like a cool, like, little designs and stuff like that. Um, it's supposed to say anomaly. I know the L is missing. Um, okay, so, ah. We're all, you gotta put the piece of plastic underneath. So hard to do with one hand. I have to buy a new stand now because, yeah. Anyways, see that? Do you see it already turning? Look it, look it, look it. You guys do this this is the perfect time to wear a mask wear it so you guys see this it's gonna turn out just like that and again you don't have to use bleach you can use spray paint I'm just choosing to use bleach because I didn't think I had to go out of the house so 
use spray paint, bleach, paint, whatever it is you want to do, just do it. Just do it like Nike says. And then if you want to make it a little bit more feminine, I am going to add some of these rhinestones. I'm going to glue them to the neck. So you'll see the finished product soon. <laughs> Okay, so as you see before, I aligned it with the, the bleach, and now we're gonna use this. out of the embroidery right here right there I think it would be better if I painted it um, rose gold I think it would be cute if I painted the pearls rose gold or we can zhuzh it I think I like it better here. Who knows? Whatever. Do whatever you like. This is just basically repurposing your clothes, making you feel like you've actually gone out and shopped while you're isolated in your house and no stores are open. So repurpose your clothes in your wardrobe. Let's see what else we have. Plain black tea. Let's see how we can repurpose this and kind of zhuzh it up. Look at this. Kind of feels like you went shopping, huh? We repurposed the entire plain black tea. Um, I took this off off camera. Sorry, it was um, vegan leather, faux leather, whatever you want to call it, however you feel like calling it. I took it off and just kind of made it matte. So it's kind of like a color blocking thing. And then remember, we we bleached it. We put the words on with packing tape, anomaly. So these words are with packing tape. And then we spray painted it for the color. Kind of does feel like I went shopping because this looks like a whole new tea, but I'm not finished yet. It's not zhuzhed enough for me. So let's see what we can do. 
Okay, y'all, so we want to zhuzh it up a little bit more, so let's zhuzh it up a little bit more. I'm going to add some tool, polka dot tool, to these sleeves to make it look just a little bit more feminine. Now you can add it here or here. I'm choosing to add it right here. So... For the sake of time, I'm just going to pin and sew on later just to sh show you guys. Voila! We added some tulle and ruched it to the sleeves. So you have like your little ruching thing going on here. You know, taking a boring tea and turning it into a fun tea. Let's see what else we can do with this. The shirt is now an anomaly. Anything in your closet become be blah, blah, blah. anything in your closet can become something new. Just take it, have your imagination run wild with it. I took this boring tea and made it into a party, an anomaly. These words were all done with packing tape. Took off the packing tape, you have permanent words. When you go to wash it, nothing's gonna fade. Join me next week when I do something else. You know, everyone always says, do something funny so that they want to keep on watching and they want to hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm not funny. I'm a style genie. I make things, you know, look different, look good, and I help you put your best foot forward. So all I can ask for you guys to do is hit that subscribe button and smash that bell or other way around however it is whatever if you guys want to see more I enjoy creating fabulous stuff because I took this tea from boring to a party anomaly can you guys guess what I'm gonna do with these I guess you gotta tune in next week.